So what I've argued here is that science and religion are positioned to engage each other. There's no way to know from the outset whether that engagement will be friendly or hostile. Um, and as we've seen, the history of that engagement of these two domains has shown us really both sides. Religious believers, well, they'll continue to be in a position of having to negotiate the connections between these two domains of belief. And scientists will need to remain unprejudiced and open-minded about the potential religious implications of their discoveries and findings. But what it shows us at least is that the domain of inquiry concerning science and religion is a rich and fertile one and one worth engaging in.